I looked up the top 10 most popular costumes for 2024. And number one is honestly really surprising. I wanted to look up the best top 10 best costumes for women, but I couldn't really get that specifically. I could get both genders. So that's what list we're gonna do. Also, if I have the costume, I'm gonna put it on and show you. We're gonna start with number 10. And honestly, this one is also very surprising. So number 10 is Hermione from Harry Potter. Harry Potter is literally like my favorite movie. So I get it, but I don't know why it's so popular in the world. And also I don't have specifically a Hermione costume. As a kid, I did once dress up as her and everyone thought I was Harry Potter because I wore glasses. I can't help that, I'm sorry. At number nine is Harry Potter. And I am so happy that both of these have made the list. Again, Harry Potter's my favorite. I can't believe that it's on the top 10 for this year. Even though it came, it, the last movie was like, I don't know how many years ago. It was a long while ago. And again, I don't specifically have a Harry Potter costume, but being a huge fan that I am, I do have Harry Potter universe costumes. I am a Hufflepuff, that's my house. I do have a Hufflepuff costume and I will do that in honor of Harry Potter. I wanted to show you, I have, I got this. It's got my initials on it. It came with a bunch of stuff in it. So I'm definitely prepared for Hufflepuff. Okay, this is my Hufflepuff outfit. The yellows don't match. I have expressed this many, 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 many times before. I hate that all of the colors for the houses don't match each other. Like they don't have the same blue. They don't have the same red. They're not saying yellow. But this is probably the most generic Hufflepuff look that I have. I have a bunch of different Hufflepuff looks. I have a Hufflepuff sweater and Hufflepuff um, joggers. Also, I wanted to add this one in. I have another wand that is more specific to Hufflepuff, but this is Harry Potter's wand and I wanted to add that into this one because this one is for Harry Potter, so. His wand. Yes, I have scarf, tie, is it Diego? pin, hat, and skirt, and a top. They're not like from the Harry Potter world, but they work, you know, they work. I also have this Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them book, property of Harry Potter, and it's got like his notes in it that he would have put in there. So that's also something else of Harry that I have. I paid like $200 for this thing and it's so cheaply made. Number eight is Alien. And I'm guessing this is not just a regular green alien. I'm guessing this is based off of Alien Romulus. I think that's a new movie coming out, which is basically the alien franchise and the new movie that's coming out this year. Number seven is Pokemon. I do not have any Pokemon costumes. No, I don't. I have a lot of onesies and I'm like wondering if I have anything Pokemon. I do like Pokemon. I just don't have anything of it. I'm not like a huge fan. I just, I had Pokemon Go for a while. I watched the original show. Squirtle is my favorite Pokemon. And I used to have a Squirtle shirt, but it was just, it was a weird shirt. It was a crop top, but that it had like ties at the end. And like, I would just like have to tie them around. I don't know. I didn't really like the look of it. So I got rid of it. Number six is Mario and Luigi. This one I'm also surprised about because like, I don't know why that would be so popular this year. This is one of the costumes that I've always wanted to do with Shay, just to like a female Mario and Luigi costumes together. Her and I need to do that. Number five is Wolverine. I honestly wish I had a female Wolverine costume, but I know this one is popular because the Deadpool and Wolverine movie just recently came out. I haven't seen it. I don't really like Deadpool. I really don't like Deadpool. I love Wolverine though. He's definitely my, my favorite X-Man. Number four is Deadpool. Again, I don't have that costume because I don't like Deadpool. I think I only watched one movie and I think it was the second one. I'm not sure. I'm debating this with Shay. I don't think we're sure. 
but I've only seen one and I just was not a huge fan of it. I just don't, I don't know. I don't like it. But I honestly kind of, maybe when it hits like streaming services, I don't even know if it has already or not. Maybe I'll check later. But once it hits that, then maybe I'll watch it because I did watch the opening scene on like TikTok and I thought it was really funny. I liked it. And I liked all the cameos that were mentioned in that movie. So maybe I'll like that one. Number three is Dallas Cowgirls. I do not have that. And I don't want it. I think there's like a new show or something about the Dallas Cowgirls. So maybe that's why it's really popular this year. But I really don't care about them. I think in high school, I wanted to be a cheerleader, but not bad enough to actually do it. I did theater instead. So, you yeah. know. Number two is Wizard of Oz. I'm guessing they're talking about anything, any costume from Wizard of Oz, especially since Wicked is coming out this year. And oh my goodness, you guys. I cannot express how excited I am for Wicked. I'm honestly so happy that Ariana Grande got Glinda. So happy about that. It's, but like, I'm so happy about it because I know that she is a huge fan of Wicked too. She's always loved it and the music and you know what? So have I. And I think she'll be a perfect Glinda. Anyways, I did recently get a Dorothy costume for this year's 31 Days of Halloween costumes. I will put it on. Don't worry, I will put it on. But I won't be doing all my hair and makeup that way. I will be doing that for the 31 Days of Halloween costumes. Let's put it on. Okay, so this is the main dress. It does come with two bows for like the hair. They put it into braids, which I don't... Does Dorothy have braids in the movie? Maybe she does. I don't know. But I mean, this costume is obviously not accurate to the movie. It's just kind of a cute version. The bows definitely match the bows on here. I wish, oh my goodness, I was at Spirit today. I should have gotten like, there was like a little basket and I should have gotten that. And then like a little stuffed dog for Toto. Oh my goodness. That would have been so cute. Anyways, I do hope that like they do get good costumes for Elphaba and Glinda. That'd be cool. But for now, we got Dorothy and it's really cute. Now we're down to number one. Number one is a couple's costume. And it's not even a couple's costume. I would have assumed or guessed it wouldn't be my top 10 guesses for this year. It is, drum roll please. Taylor Swift and uh, Travis Kelsey, yeah. I really thought it was going to be like Harley Quinn and the Joker again because of the new Joker movie that just came out that apparently is getting a lot of bad reviews but like the first Joker movie was iconic so good so I figured the second one would be really good but I don't know I'm still gonna see it I don't know maybe in theaters maybe not but at some point I will be watching it I do love Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn but in the movie, this is what I really, really don't like is that they have her as another patient. She's supposed to be a psychologist, not a patient. And that really, I don't know, that really pisses me off because I'm a psychologist and I don't know, in one, in some weird way, I kind of like really like Harley Quinn <laughs> because she's a psychologist. I mean, she literally had my dream job, which is like going to... I don't know, a prison or insane asylum, whatever, and basically being a psychologist for criminals. That is honestly what I'm going to school for. So I'm a little mad that she's just another patient. That is who I would have picked for number one. But no, it's Taylor Swift. And I'm honestly, I will say I'm a little biased <laughs> with this because I did spend years hating Taylor Swift so much. And I mean, now I've kind of grown up and I'm kind of just like over it, whatever. She's popular and probably for good reason, but I think there probably is some leftover hate that I have towards her. I mean, when I was a kid, I honestly loved her. I was obsessed with her. Like when she did country music, I loved her. But then she tw switched to pop and then made a song about Harry Styles. And at that point I was obsessed with One Direction. So I kind of took it out on Taylor Swift for making a song about Harry Styles. I was so mad, so mad. And that's basically the reason why I hate her so much, why I have hated her so much is because of that song about Harry Styles. But I mean, like that was forever ago. And I mean, Harry Styles and Taylor Swift are like, they're fine now. 
they're fine so i don't know why i still have so much hate for her but it's there i guess and i can see like taylor swift is a really like the biggest pop star right now which you know good for her so i can see that being why she's on the top 10 list but like as a couple's costume with travis kelsey and like number one when i don't know there's so many others that are that would be that i think would be so much more popular like joker and harley quinn and i can't even think of others right now but probably with all the movies coming out i don't know <laughs> but that is the list let me know if you agree with the list or not or any other costumes that you think would be more popular than these let me know i still can't believe that harry potter characters are on there i definitely think there would be others that are more popular i was also thinking that barbie would still be popular this year since it was huge last year but apparently we've moved on Anyways, like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok at EpicKirby25, where I post the 31 Days of Halloween costumes. I also post it on here on my shorts. So if you don't want to see me on Instagram or TikTok, then fine, you can just wait here. But I post it on all three, so check those out. Remember to follow your dreams, guys. And I love you. Bye.